All right, so let's go through this giveaway and uh, give you some suggestions on how to improve it. It already looks pretty good. I really like how you've made the white background here. Uh, I think that works really well in keeping this super clean. Um, great branding up there. Win prizes by joining the Healy community. Um, yes, really good pitch there. I would suggest winners get Amazon gift cards, free consultations, and other exciting prizes. Yeah, I would say that's pretty good actually. Um, win prizes by joining the Healy community. Um, you might also want to try like join the Healy community and win prizes. Um, but to be honest, it's probably fine. It's not going to make a big difference. Um, you've got the main things in there. You've got what people can win. You've got what they need to do to win. Uh, so that's the main things. All right, so enter to win. You could also say join now here if it is to joining the community. Um, that would be a more kind of like on point CTA that is aligned with what you're asking people to do. Um, how to win. I would also talk a little bit here about what the Healy community is. So people are probably a little bit interested in what the group or community is before they join. So you might have better conversion rates if you just explain in one or two sentences what the Healy community is and what the benefit to the user will be. Um, that will probably improve that conversion rate because people will be interested in opting in. I can see you've got the image over here, but it's not 100% clear what Healy actually is and what the, uh, what the benefit of joining the community would be. And then you've got how to win, which is perfect. All right, rewards and prizes, lucky winner. So you've got for every 500 points collected, receive an additional entry into winning a $500 Amazon gift card and a free 30 minute consultation. Okay, so if, there, if there's any way you can kind of shorten this to get the point across faster, that would be better. So you have lucky winner. So for every 500 points collected, um, I don't know if you would say for every 500 points collected, I don't know if that's really going to help collect a thousand points. I would say maybe collect 500 points to qualify or something. Um, if you're really looking for people to get over a certain amount of points threshold, but really you could just leave this as a lucky winner. Um, because the Viper platform will benefit those who have more points because when, you cho when you're when you chosen at random, it takes all of the points or all of the entries and each point would be a data point when they go to choose a winner. So obviously the more data points or the more entries you have, the higher your chance of winning. Um, so I think you might be overcomplicating it by adding in this terminology about for every 500 points collected. Uh, you might just want to leave that as a lucky winner. So... Um, so you would say lucky winner, someone at random is chosen to win a $500 gift card and a free 30 minute consultation phone call with Michael, blah, 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 continue on. And that way that's a lot more straightforward as to what people are going to win because this might just confuse people and it might uh, make them bounce from the page. So you've also got a lucky winner here, collect 1000 points for a chance to win. So. This one could be collect a thousand points to qualify for this reward, something like that, um, if you're making it a threshold. So that's really an interesting way of doing this. I agree, it's kind of a fun way of getting people to create or uh, collect more points. And I think just the terminology around this, you might want to be like collect a thousand points to qualify for this prize, the winner wins, and then go into what the winner wins. Um, I think that might be a little bit st more straightforward. Um, so yeah, just tightening up the terminology of explaining the prizes on that lucky winner would definitely help. Um, these ones are fine, 650 points, one year premium version access, 150 points early access to the app. Um, so yeah, I really like this, super clean, looks great. You've got sign up here, so let's sign up. Again, you can also collect um, a lot more information if you need. Um, Sorry, what was this? What's your name? Um, you can also collect a lot more information if you need it on here. Uh, so you might be wanting to collect, um, you know, age or gender or what your fitness goal is, if you go to the gym or not. 
Um, you know, do you, are you currently on a diet or not? Um, you might want to use this opportunity to collect a little bit more information on people um, because that will definitely help in the long run. Okay, thanks for signing up. Complete actions below to get more points. All right, this looks great. You've got customized back end. This looks really nice. Um, you've obviously gone into the custom CSS and made a few uh, changes, which is really nice. In Viper 2.0, we're going to allow a lot more customization on this page. Um, so that should be good as well. So let's see what you've got here. You're ranked 46, great. Um, we've got the refer others, share your specific URL, great, great. All right, sign up for beta, perfect. Follow us on Instagram, like this post on Instagram, comment and tag friends on Instagram like our Facebook page, like this post on Facebook. I would do share this post on Facebook, um, comment and tag friends on Facebook. Now, the other thing, if you are an app, um, if there's any you know, press that you've received, um, get people to share the press. Uh, so that builds a little bit more buzz around your product launch. If you have listed your product anywhere for early release, get them to share that. Um, the main thing with a product launch or an app launch is getting content and awareness out there as much as possible. So anywhere that there's been any PR release of your brand, um, try and get entrants to share that content and that will give you a lot more awareness. The other one I would also do is the retweet. Um, so definitely allowing people to retweet something that you've created. Uh, is a great way of introducing your brand to all of their followers and it's a lot more organic. So I would definitely add in that as well as like follow on Twitter. Um, but yeah, the main thing is you just want people sharing all of the publications or the announcements that you're about to launch this amazing app. Um, but yeah, apart from that, this, this looks amazing. Um, you've done a really good job with the custom CSS on this. Um, can't wait for Viper 2.0 to come out so you can do this without having to use custom CSS. Um, but yeah, great job and let me know if you've got any follow-up questions.